Before installation, carefully inspect all system components. Check for missing or damaged parts. Consult the inspection section of the instruction manuals for detailed inspection criteria. Assembly of the horizontal lifeline system. Start by removing the cotter pin, nut, and bolt from the anchor shackle. Position the anchor shackle through the tension indicator and align the anchor shackle bolt holes with the hole on the end of the shock absorber. Insert the bolt completely through the shackle and the shock absorber. Attach the nut and tighten snugly using a three quarter inch wrench and socket. Insert the cotter pin into the end of the bolt and bend slightly to prevent the pin from backing out. Connect the carabiner to the opposite end of the shock absorber assembly. We will now attach the turnbuckle to the lifeline assembly. Extend or unthread both turnbuckle jaws so that one half inch of the threads on both jaws are exposed in the turnbuckle body. Doing this will allow for maximum takeup of the lifeline slack when tensioning. Remove the cotter pin from one end of the jaw bolts. Unscrew the nut and remove the bolt from the turnbuckle jaw. Align the lifeline thimble with the jaw. Insert the bolt through the holes in the jaw, ensuring that it also passes through the lifeline thimble and screw the nut onto the bolt. Tighten snugly using a three quarter inch wrench and socket. Insert the cotter pin into the end of the bolt and bend slightly to prevent the pin from backing out. We will now attach the turnbuckle to the tension indicator. Remove the cotter pin from the end of the jaw bolt. Unscrew the nut and remove the bolt from the turnbuckle jaw. Align the captive eye of the tension indicator with the jaw. Insert the bolt through the holes in the jaw, ensuring that it also passes through the tension indicator eye. Attach the nut and tighten snugly with a 3 quarter inch wrench and socket. Insert the cotter pin into the end of the bolt and bend slightly to prevent the pin from backing out. Adjust the cable roughly to the installation length. Remove bolts and nuts from the combination clamp and thimble. Feed the cable through the combination clamp and thimble taking up as much slack in the lifeline as possible. While holding both sides of the combination clamp and thimble together, ensure that there is no gap between the two halves. Insert the bolts, attach nuts, and tighten using a 9 16th inch wrench and socket torque to 40 foot-pounds. Attach cable clip 2.5 inches from the combination clamp and thimble. Ensure that at least 8 inches of cable extends beyond the clip. Torque cable clip nuts to 45 foot-pounds using a 3 quarter inch wrench. Installation of the 416 D bolt anchor. Start by identifying a structure capable of withstanding a 5,000 pound static load in the direction that the anchorage connector will stress it. 
Be sure that the mounting location is clean and free of debris. Locator drill a 21 32nd inch hole. Consideration should be given to allow sufficient clearance to place the lock washer and tighten the nut. If attaching to a tapered beam flange, see the instruction manual for additional information. Mount the D-bolt anchorage connector by passing the 5 8 inch grade 8 bolt through the hole in the connector and through the hole in the structure. Place the lock washer and nut over the bolt. Tighten to 125 foot-pounds, making certain the entire nut is engaged on the threads and the device is securely fastened to the structure. Repeat the same installation procedure for the second 416 D-bolt anchorage connector. Now we will begin installation of the SkyGrip horizontal lifeline system between the D-bolt anchorage connectors. Connect the shock absorber assembly to the 416 D-bolt anchorage connector using the auto locking carabiner. Using the auto locking carabiner, connect the combination clamp and thimble to the D-bolt anchorage connector. Tensioning the SkyGrip horizontal lifeline. It is essential that the lifeline be properly tensioned before use. Failure to do so will affect fall clearance. To prevent the lifeline from twisting while tensioning, hold the turnbuckle jaw at the lifeline thimble end while tightening the turnbuckle body. As the lifeline is tensioned, the jaws will draw toward one another. At the correct tension, the tension indicator disc will spin freely by hand. <laughs> 